Hi guys, welcome to my home in Rashidia in Dubai. Uh, tonight I'm going to do uh, salmon with Asian vegetable. So let's have a look what I have. I have a nice salmon filling. Um, I have a salmon actually online from uh, Eastfish. So Eastfish has a really nice selection of seafood. I had ordered some scallops, some salmon, some shrimps. So really, really nice. So just www.eastfish.com and you can order everything. So then I have for the sauce a little bit chili. I put just a little because this chili is, has really power. Uh, garlic, lots of ginger. So I want to make it really healthy. So lots of ginger, onions. Uh, then I have uh, zucchini, I have carrots, I have uh, cauliflower, broccoli, snow peas. Uh, and to finish it off, uh, at the end with uh, some nice uh, spring onions and some roasted sesame seeds. And uh, I have a little bit of chicken stock. And the sauces, for the sauce I use a little bit sweet chili sauce, some soya sauce. Then I have uh, oyster sauce and uh, sesame oil, which is both from Lee Kong Ki. Uh, I love to work with Lee Kong Ki because uh, like the, the oil is, the sesame oil is very incentive. So you just need a few drops and that's it. You don't need to put uh, a lot of it. And the oyster sauce is strong, but same time very smooth. So really good product to work with. So, okay, so we talked about what we do, then let's go cooking. Okay, my water is boiling, just put a little bit, of, little bit of salt, and then I start to blanch the vegetable. Uh, for the vegetable, I have to look a little bit on what takes longer than the other. So in the meantime, I put the fire on, my, on the pan for the salmon. So I start with the carrots first, and uh, then I wait a, a minute. So in the meantime, I will season my salmon. I just season it with uh, sea salt and uh, a little bit of white pepper. So because the flavor will come, the main flavor for the dish will come for for the sauce from the sauce later. So just put a little bit of oil. Okay. So my carrots are boiling, so next I will put the cauliflower. Okay, so in the meantime my pan is hot, warm. Because I don't want to cook the salmon too, too fast. I want to cook the salmon slow because um, otherwise the protein uh, will, will turn out. So if we see, the salmon should have should not be white outside. We see it's the end uh, how it works. So we cook it slow, and inside the salmon should be a little bit, still a little bit uh, medium, 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 medium well. Okay. So next, we put the broccoli, and now we wait two three minutes, and until we put the next veg again. Now in the meantime, I start to make my sauce so I do it with butter and I use lupak butter which is uh, good butter for anything in the kitchen you, you see even for Chinese food so I start with uh, my onions and ginger you see I use a lot of ginger because ginger is number one it's so healthy it's one of the one of the best food for, to uh, improve your immune system and uh, I love the flavor and uh, quite a bit of garlic also and chili not too much because it's, as i said the chili is very powerful so next i will put the zucchini in my vegetable so now in the meantime i turn the salmon as i said i cook it cook it slow and i, will, I want to finish it on the skin at the end because I want to want to leave the skin on uh, and want it nice and crispy. So I cook it now for a little while on the front side and then I will put it back on the skin and finish it on the skin. 
So now last but not least, my snow peas. So two minutes and then I will take the vegetables. So now I put some chicken stock. A little bit of soya sauce. Chili. Then mix a little bit of oyster sauce. Okay. And with the sesame oil, I'm waiting until the end because I want to I want to have the full flavor at the end. So I put it right right at the end when the sauce is ready. Now. Just boil it a little bit to finish finish the cooking. In the meantime, my salmon is almost done. So, one two minutes, and then we'll see you again. Okay. So now, I you saw earlier I had a bit of starch, so I just put a little bit of little bit of starch in my sauce because I don't want to reduce it reduce it a lot more because you don't want it. Too salty because we know, you know, the, in the soya sauce, in the oyster sauce, in the sweet chili sauce, everywhere, in, in the chicken stock, everything has salt. So I will not put any salt. I just season it with uh, with a little bit pepper now at the end, and finish it off as I said with a uh, sesame oil. So the salmon looks good. I think the salmon is almost. Almost ready. Now I just put a small piece of butter on top to finish it and then it's done. So, a little bit more chicken stock and then I can uh, bring my vegetable. So I put the vegetable inside to, to make it make it hot. First I uh, made the vegetable cold, I put it in cold water or I rinsed it with a little bit cold water earlier on because I wanted to keep the color nicely. So especially for the snow peas from broccoli, if you rinse it after blanching or boiling then you, you keep nicely the color. So now two minutes and it's done. Okay, now Simon is almost ready. Okay, so we are ready to dress. Look at the salmon, how nice and crispy it is. So I will serve it with the skin up because I really want to enjoy the crispy skin. So here's my vegetable. Beautiful. Very nice. So now salmon. Now, as I said at the end, put a little bit of sesame oil. So I just put drops on the vegetable, on the salmon. Now, spring onions and finish it off with a roasted sesame seeds. Oh, I love sesame seeds. The smell is. is Pretty amazing. So that's it.